Hello, I'm Renata Gambino, and this video is about collaborative research. Let's go, first of all, to have a definition of it. International research collaboration involves researchers from different countries cooperating on small or large-scale funded and non-funded projects, which can involve discussing ideas, presenting at conferences, preparing grant proposals, conducting comparative research, and writing joint scholarly publication between a team member. Collaborative research can be classified in three main ways, on the base of the context, the fields involved, and the disciplines. On the base of the institutional context, we can uh, divide collaborative research into three modalities. It can be made by a simple group, which involves multiple researchers from the same administrative unit, or a complex group, which involves multiple researchers from different administrative units. It can be also a multi-sector group, which involves researchers from multiple sectors. This means that there can be included governments, industry and communities. Collaborative research differentiated on the base of a, num a number of academic fields uh, can be homogeneous or heterogeneous. Homogeneous means that the collaboration involves researchers from a single discipline working together to solve a problem. Or it can be heterogeneous, and in this case, collaboration involves researchers from multiple disciplines working together to solve a bigger problem or a complex problem. On the base of disciplines involved, we have unidisciplinary research that can be considered collaborative if it if occurs between multiple administrative units, or it can be multidisciplinary, and in this case, the researchers come from different disciplines and work separately in their own disciplines to solve a joint problem. It can be interdisciplinary, and this, in this case, researchers work together to solve a problem, but still focus on their own disciplines, and they can be transdisciplinary, and in this case, the researchers work together using a shared conceptual framework. Let's go to the pros and cons of collaborative research. Pros. Collaboration can reduce time needed to conduct experiments through sharing of resources, or it can provide opportunities to learn about other disciplines, which leads to development and innovative solutions, because discussion can stimulate new ideas. The work becomes more manageable, and each assigned activity targets members with the appropriate experience and expertise, and collaboration with many experienced researchers facilitates ongoing research efforts as well as future collaborations. Researchers working together enrich the field with their combined insights and wisdoms as well as with their ability to grapple with more complicated problems. In fact, collaborative research is very well suited for the problem solving of complex problems. Let's go to the cons. Cons uh, are mainly um, pointed by the disagreement between researchers uh, about what experiments uh, they have to perform or how to analyze the results obtained or even uh, about the methodologies which uh, build the frame uh, in which they move. Uh, the other problem is that uh, linked to the authorship, because authorship in a collaborative research is hard to be defined, and researchers do not want to give up scientific credits because credit is integral to their scientific career and their research fundings. So, uh, the added value uh, is um, considered in two different ways. Uh, on uh, depending on the scientific field or the academic community they are working in. So for instance, in the scientific field, the science have a tradition of collaborative projects and seem to value such researches more than other disciplines where collaborative research is not very common or does not have a long tradition. This is the case of the humanistic fields, because in the humanistic field, collaborative work is often devaluated. Perhaps the main reason why it is not 
highly valued, is that institutions traditionally tend to look at individual work when evaluating faculty productivity for tenure or promotion decisions. So we hope that this uh, um, way of uh, making research in a collaborative uh, way will uh, improve in the future because our reality poses very complex problems in front of us and collaborative research is the be best way to solve them. Thank you very much.